Okay, Glenn Lasanto at the London International Wine Fair talking to Chester Osborne and his flowery shirt and various animal <laughs> entourage and some beautiful Australian wines. Um, now, you were just on the stand there talking about uh, a wine and telling the story of your wines, and I found that quite fascinating. I think you made some of the stories up, to be honest, uh, but all the same, you know, to put a story on wine, it just sort of seemed to add a bit of character. Do you think it sells wine? Well, I have this philosophy that we're deadly serious about our winemaking up until when the wine ends up in the bottle, and from then on it all should be fun. Because really, what can you do once the top's on it? You know, it, it, it's all going to stay the same. And what does everyone drink it for? To have fun, you know, either, either the taste they're into or, the, or just you know, make the effect of it. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, of course, so we have really quirky names on our labels, um, like the Dead Arm or the Hermit Crab. It, it's, you know, here's the Hermit Crab. Or the Cenocilicophobic Cat, which is this little pussy cat here. And um, what was that again about the cat? The Cenocilicophobic Cat. Which means? Which, Cenocilicophobia is the fear of an empty glass. I think a lot, a lot of us have that, yeah. <laughs> it's a Sagrantino Cinso that we have, which is quite a lot of fun. And, you know, and the Dead Arm, as I mentioned. And, and then we've just launched, actually, a whole new wine label called the, uh, the Eight Iron, this one is. There's actually three of these scarce earth wines from McLaren Vale. You can see on the neck, like, neck tag it says McLaren Vale Scarce Earth, which uh, has just been launched from They're all single vineyard wines, high end, and 20 wines from McLaren Vale fit the bill. Three of them are Darren Big. And, uh, and so, as you can see, it's quite a lot of fun. It's got a little, little pixie floating down the stripe there, which is actually me keeping an eye on the vineyard, which is this is the vineyard. You can see the eight iron vineyard, the green one there. Uh, it's actually an eight iron hit from there to there. Oh, okay, and so it's called eight iron because it's shaped like an eight iron, not because you drink a bottle of it and feel like you've been hit over the head by an eight iron. Well, probably both. <laughs> <laughs> and it's eight acres. And, okay, uh, right. Yeah, so, so yeah, it really does work. Uh, but, uh, so this is our uh, new uh, sort of 60 pound wine, sports, and I'm the little pixie there overlooking the window. And each of the labels has me in a different spot. Like one of them, I'm actually trapped under the label, and it's just a head sticking out. So you have to go and see it, the Babendum stand there. Right? Do you know, I think this is really good that you're, you're kind of like putting fun into wine because it, it can be a bit stuffy, can't it, the, yeah. the trade? Well, you know, the serious parts we talk about, a lot of it, and then, then, then the rest is all fun because, you know, that's what we're here for. Life would be very, very boring if we just had to hear the pH the whole time. Chester, fantastic. Keep telling your wine stories. Cheers.